She was just 17 years old, her whole life ahead of her. And tonight, the community gathered to remember Maya Pena. The Highlands Ranch High Schooler went missing after school on Tuesday and was found murdered hours later. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo joins us live. An emotional night tonight, Addie. A very emotional night, Shannon and Ann. Everyone touched by Maya Pena came together at Mile High Academy, where she was last seen before she disappeared. That's where her friends shed stories, shed tears, and remembered the sister, daughter, and friend whose life was taken. Like the flicker of the candles, tears fell. Maya was like a sister to me. Um, I loved her with all my heart. As friends shared memories, of 17-year-old Maya Peña. She was an amazing person who cared about everyone around her. A young soul described as passionate. It's also undeniable that she was loved and will be unbelievably missed. And encouraging. Maya was the type of person that could make you smile in your darkest moments. She would help you with anything, no matter how big or small the problem. Those who loved her celebrated her life during a candlelight vigil at Mile High Academy. Others tuned in online. Her big smile, her goofy sense of humor, her very competitive spirit. I just love her smile. I just love the way she brightens up the room, her, her bright eyes, and I look forward to seeing her laugh again. Benya went missing on Tuesday from Mile High Academy in Highlands Ranch. Hours later, her body was found in the backseat of 18-year-old Samuel Hoffman's car near Fountain. The two were friends. Police believe Hoffman killed Benya before taking his own life. <laughs> a crime that brought pain and prayers for a grieving community. Give comfort and peace to this family. Now students and staff made ribbons in blue and white with Maya's name. The blue represents all the memories of her and the white the hope to see her again. Now the school have counselors on hand to help students cope with this tragedy. Her funeral is set for next Monday. In the newsroom, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. Just a tragedy. Thank you, Addie.